Ben, in your work, we see some hope this bond route may be easing. This is a key ingredient for any equity recovery. Before we get to talking about whether this is positive or not for risk assets, can you tell me why you think bond yields may well be peaking this time? I think it's difficult to see real yields just continuing to head to the moon at a time when all your inflation lead indicators are rolling over, where recession risks uh, are, are, are spiking. Um, I, I, I think the, the disconnect is, is, is in there. And I think given where real and nominal yields got to, and on the flip side, given where valuations and sentiment have got to, I think that risk reward setup is, is very, very interesting. Ben, given that, if the Fed is going to retrace some of its uh, pretty hawkish statements, what does that mean in terms of earnings? We've heard this from Mike Wilson. We've heard this from Mohamed El Arian, that be careful what you wish for, because if the Fed does retrace, that means that things are really bad and we have not priced that in. I think this is, to your earlier comment, this feels a little bit like Groundhog Day, right? I think the setup is very similar to where we were before the big sort of June rally. Uh, I think the market is sniffing out the sort of top of the Fed cycle. I think bond yields have um, overshot and are now coming down. Uh, and I think, to your point on earnings, we're going into third quarter earnings season where, yet again, expectations are very, very negative. Yeah. Uh, and I think this is an attractive setup. I think my, I think we're just going to leap over this sort of yeah. low bar and breathe a little bit of, of a sigh of relief. Ben, I want to go to your huge track record on three cycles of getting the market right. And I want to go to Lisa's gloom yesterday. I want to go to nodes of revenue guesses. What it comes <laughs> down to is with a slowing economy, everybody's going to try to guess revenues at the top line. Given all the economic mumbo, John, what are the nodes of revenue guesses going to do? I think this is all sort of fear versus reality. I think markets, I mean, we're down 25%. Earnings expectations have actually fallen quite a lot, I would argue. Um, and not all recessions are created equal. I mean, granted, we're almost certainly going into a recession, at least outside of Asia. Um, but this is not 2007. This is not 2020. This is, a, I think, a much more plain vanilla uh, central bank driven recession. And I think that is given where we are, I think that's actually pretty investable. That's a two percentage point GDP peak to trough fall. That's a 14 percent decline in earnings expectations, where I think you're at least uh, halfway there. Um, again, I think where markets and sentiment and valuations are at this point, I think the bigger risk is, is being out, not is, sorry, is, is, is being out, not in. Okay, so Ben, given all of that, just quickly here, how much are you buying with your conviction? I mean, basically, are you loading up the truck? I think we're building a bottom, right? I, I think this is a U-shaped recovery, not a V. Uh, I think the Fed has told us quite clearly that you know they're going to stay the course until something breaks. Well, hey, stuff may be starting, uh, be starting to break. Uh, we don't need the top of the Fed cycle. We just need a little bit of visibility. Uh, that it may be coming in the next sort of four or five months, and the Fed's just not going to keep uh, hiking here. I think all the lead indicators uh, are, are, are telling that. So I'm comfortable enough saying we're building a bottom, so I'm fully invested. I'm, I'm certainly tilted a bit more to the defensives. You know, risks are still pretty high, but I'm absolutely nibbling at that sort of quality risk, that sort of big tech, you know, discounted small caps. I mean, the more this goes on, the closer we get to inflation definitively coming down, um, I think you want to be you're raising the risk budget into that. 